welcome to Zek103 TV. Today we are going to be doing the SMOS at Old Spice. Certain pulls Brock Nelson in the 51. Matthew Hill Racing. Last week we seen, uh, last week was Auto Club, we seen Eric Monaco uh, get his first career win. Starting in the, a little bit further back today. 30 laps here at Old Spice. I don't believe there'll be any pit stops. Uh, not, not a whole lot else to note. Current points leader still sits Craig Pockers. Um, see if he's able to keep that defended at this point. Uh, he's only one point ahead of second, which is, uh, there's a tie for second in standings right now coming into this race. Uh, the 63 and the 32, Ryan Cole and Exo. Currently tied for second, one point back from Craig. Ryan Cole starting behind Craig. And Exo starting uh, well ahead, actually. But uh, again, only two races in with those first points. And then recently, recently we started seeing those bigger points gaps. And then once I think race five starts rolling around, we'll start having to make bigger guesses before there's swaps almost each and every race. But uh, it really just depends on the consistency of these drivers and how well they were able to do. And uh, who can do what and uh, what time is and what matters so uh, that's going to be something to take a look at but they have two Red Bull cars they were racing together in at a auto club a few times but it looks like they're once again together Brock Nelson and Thunder 24 fan not teammates but both same sponsor find it interesting and uh, in fact they're not even the same manufacturer for that matter but still interesting nonetheless and other than that uh not really a whole lot else to say. Probably should have waited before I started. Just going to be me in the booth today. Um, sorry, a bit late, so. Not like me other, other people shown in, so. I can take note of. Like I said, 30 laps. It's Old Spice, so. Take it for what you will. 40 cars. Uh, probably one of the shorter fields we've had in recent seasons. But, uh. Still uh, in for something good, and, uh. See how it goes for sure. About three quarters of a minute until we get the engine or the command, get the engine started. Uh, Byron Webb or Brian Webb, rather, starting on the front row as well. Uh, I think he performed uh, fairly well here last season, if I'm not mistaken. Memory is a little rusty on that, so uh, correct me if I'm I believe he did well in this race last season, which I know he did run it last season. I don't remember who won it, but regardless. 15 seconds to command. I'm going to probably just go ahead and let that roll through. We'll get this thing started. Drivers, stop your engines! Command has been given. Engines are fired up. You see the little flames coming out of the exhaust pipes of some of these cars. Should be all of them, but that's how the game works. So, well, I, I don't know. I may be stupid, but we'll see how it goes. Mark Nelson won Martinsville last year, so um, based on you know recent seasons and data, one could probably assume how this will go. Uh, but, uh, Looking for win number two, Br Br Brian Webb, however, is looking for win number one to add to his resume. Green flag is out here at Old Spice. And again, don't mind the uh, car on the top lagging back. That is just game being goofy. Looks like 51 is going to be able to clear for the lead at this point. Challenge on the high side from the 17 doesn't look like it's going to go anywhere. 83 of uh, Thunder 24 fan may try to challenge from that. Doesn't look like so. The 17 is able to get a run back to the 51. And they are nose and tail right now. Oop, send a little deeper. Ooh, a little tap. 
He actually bumped him there. Doesn't get the run off the corner. Up one is in the books. Remember manual yellow, so I will have to call them out on by myself. Make sure uh, everyone's still in the race and alive. That looks to be the case. Or actually, in the 06. Uh, in the 24. Uh, 06 is still running. 24. On the other hand, not running. That may be yellow. You know what? I forgot to turn on our better cautions EXC. Oh, this is a bad wreck. So let's we'll see what happened here. It looks like Nimrod and Zigzagunga. Oh, hard crash for both those drivers. That is going to be yellow. So back to live coverage. Angie Johnson is going to be your first retiree of the day. Zigzagoon is still in it as we are down to yellow. I don't know if they've caught in the, the yellow flag yet, but some of these cars in the back definitely have. I believe the 51 was still the leader at the point of the yellow, which uh, I don't believe they've come to the line yet for that. Alright, so... Yep, 24 is done for the day. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and once they cross the line here, I'm going to pause my game in hopes of turning on. I forgot to turn on my better caution ZXC, so uh, bear with me here. I'm going to go ahead and pause the game, just ignore the fact that nothing's moving. Go to pit lane one to get your bothers off that. Then I'm going to turn on my EXC in hopes it doesn't crash the game. If it does, I'll just restart it and then you won't even know it exists, but. I'm going to go too far into that. So we're going to do... Um, send lap cars to the back, which there isn't any. We'll do modern double follow restarts, and we'll... I left the green white checkers if we need them. Back to live coverage. And we are currently where we're at. We're not going to green this time, but next time by if this... I mean, caution was pretty abrupt. We seen Angie Johnson, and uh, in fact, uh, while we're here, we'll take another look at that accident from helicopter cam. Uh, really get an idea of what happened to Angie Johnson there. So lap one, uh, CTV2 gives. I will probably just go helicopter. So comes in Nimrod. You see, uh, oh, it's three wide there. Nimrod sending it wide. Zigzagoon. Oh, yep, just nowhere to go. Both of them crash hard. Zigzagoon also hard in the wall, but um, is able to get it back going. But uh, uh, the 24, unfortunately, is uh, going to be retired for the race. So not a good start to the season for Angie Johnson. Hasn't had a good past few races. Is uh, Zigzagoon going to take that to pit road, get some damage repair? Actually, some pretty nasty. It was a pretty nasty lick. So would not be surprised if they are uh, off pace or done for the day with that amount of damage. But we'll see how they do. We're going to try double file restarts here. Um, again, 17 on the hot seat. Uh, we are going green this time already, so this help a little bit. But um, if this restart does have the 17 jumping it and getting a black flag, that'll be our last double file restart attempt. And we'll go to single file restart attempt, seeing if the AI cannot withstand it. So, yeah. And we'll also excuse a little bit on some of these things. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and turn off double file restarts because I remember last year we had an issue with that so I'm not going to let that problem reignite so we'll just keep that in mind but just because I didn't want a problem reigniting I'm just going to do single file restart because I know this track had problems we had a few controversial moments last season try doing double file starts here so we will avoid that this time around oh bad start there 51 did not go 17 seemed to be clear but the 51 checked up big time there might have missed a gear that's gonna allow the 17 to get a run here on the bottom see if he can 
Uh, 51 can clear or not, but yeah, it looks like it. 51 does have a little bit of rear end damage. Byron Webb not taking it too easy on that uh, 51 car. As you see in the top lane there, trying to be made work. You know, keep an eye on our standing just in case we have a car wreck again. But, uh, yeah, the 83 tried to do something there. I don't think it was successful. But whatever happened, happened. Already filing up big time. And these guys are gapping up big time. Just keep, keep, get a green flag run going. There's Jeremy Frey. Had a run at Daytona. Doesn't really show much sense. They got Melinda Jones versus uh, Silas Wilmot. Oh, big slide there from the 90. I think he got loose off the corner. And we got something happening. Uh, 90's got a problem, I think. Someone's in the pits. Looks like the 30 in the... Uh, the 08 may have went to the pit road. Not sure why. But the 08 in the, uh, 30 did go to the pit road. Again, not really sure why, but they did. They don't have any damage, so otherwise, I would say yellow, but... Running fine, so I guess there's no problem. Ziggs again appears to be still on pace, so uh, his his day is probably not done. But 93's got a bit of damage. Uh, last week's pole sitter, or no, not last week's pole sitter. Daytona pole sitter and uh, Tufty winner race. No, Tufty did not win a race. I think uh, Daytona winner was Craig. Uh, Tufty's had some good speed this season, just not not so good on the road courses this this week around. Back to the lead. Not much has changed. The 51 starting to pull away a little bit. You know, keep an eye on our cars in the back. Just make sure he's wrecking. And again, this 51 car won at Martinsville last season. Looking for win number one of this season and win number two of their book. And I know this isn't Formula One or nothing, but Red Bull 1 2 is possible right now. Red Bull Podium is already a thing, and they're, they're not even teammates, not even associated. So, as ironic as it may be, it's just, just still a little notes to take. <laughs> Team gonna try a little something there. Gonna try it a little higher. Riley Gorse. That's gonna slope 32 a little bit. Gonna allow Rubina Gonzalez to get a little bit of a run. Not so much though. Sixteen again gonna try to get on this eighty-three here. Don't quite have the speed though, however. I just realized something the double zero has rookie stripes and they're not rookies. <laughs> oh well. I'm a little too lazy to change that. So some of these cars have rookie stripes and they're not rookies. They just use the same paint schemes for previous, but when I made the, th the double zero they weren't a rookie, so that was just a literal mistake when I was making that car. That was actually a little painful, because it would actually look a little bit better without the rookie stripes, in my opinion. Oh well. Just another thing to ignore. Also, I have the actual XCF I made to make that still saved. I'm not going to change it. I might actually have that. The pack still holding on. The next car doing anything was Pace and Avery. Go forth, motorsports entry. However, uh, doesn't look like he's making too much noise, but was going to try to make some moves. He's running top 15 right now. One of the actual rookies, that and Alex, uh, this, I didn't I could try and pronounce the name there. Alex Sinvidal. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Sam Sinvidal. Sinvidal. Looks like Nimrod has quite a bit of damage. Might have got, uh, I know they had, a, they were, I know they were slightly involved in that first accident with the 24 and the 06, but uh, they have some pretty intense hood damage right now. Uh, still holding the top 15 despite that. It's a big parachute on the hood. Aerodynamics this track isn't huge, but they're going to lose some spots, it looks like. Uh, Skyler Taylor could maybe get a run down here, maybe go for a patch, just based on the straight line speed, just not being there for the 29, but it looks like uh, 
speed behind the engine of the Wick rear racing may just be enough to keep that going. As ST, ST Motorsports single car operation, not really sure what they have, but still running. Uh, but yeah, we got three rookies all in the all in a row, and 57 is also rookie of the year contender. Had run some races last year after two wins, but did not run the full year, so still class five for rookie of the year in that 57 camp. Behind that, Patatna, who's not a rookie, and uh, I believe they started to pull last week at Auto Club. So already having a great start to the season, despite uh, last year only having one top five. Already has one top five this season. At uh, Daytona and a pole, and uh, this race, uh, you know, not so not so great so far, but but rolling. I guess at this point, it's saying something. There's a teammate to the 71, 16, and I, I think it's just three car ex smallest operation for Dawn Patrol, but uh, Angie Johnson unfortunately involved in a lap run accident and uh, out of the race, so that's unfortunate. But again, the 51 pulling away a little bit. Still putting down some decent lap times. We're almost halfway. We see something different here soon, maybe. I don't know. But so far, Brock Nelson Masterclass, from what I'm aware. Oops, Cactus King. Uh, lap traffic may be a concern, but I think the double zero, or not the double zero, but the zero eight, the third, or the, yeah, the zero eight and the 30 are, uh, paced up enough that they may stay on the late lap. I mean, they're about 15 or so ish seconds from getting put a lap down. I don't I don't think this, they're going to lose that much time in 15 laps unless they're losing a second lap. I don't, I don't think they're going to go a lap down. But not sure why they pitted, but they did. Might have not been so confident on the gas situation, I'm not sure, but I, I doubt they would have to pit at this point. But if they do, these guys might be in the catbird seat. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. Kyler okay, Sustray, a little bit of damage at the rear end. I don't know why I decided to go to him, but I just, uh, let's go to Kyler Sustray. Yep. Oh, a little aggressive there with teammate Eric Monaco, who won last week. Back to three of the, the please four car operation track house racing and uh, all running together and it'll outside the top 25. Not very good for them, but still interesting nonetheless. I can't remember what their other, other entry was for the life of me right now, but uh, I'll, I'll remember. Five car with a little bit of hood damage. I'm not sure where that's from. I, I think some, some checkups and stuff. If these guys hit each other, it gets problematic. And then that's well outside the top 30 for the five car. These guys are all racing barely inside, so th that team didn't quite get their numbers right for this track. It was back in the top 10. Who was the other driver? Let me just go through and see if I recognize any connections here. Oh yeah, Sills, Wilmot, or other entry. Uh, Sills is actually in the top 10 right now. Uh, Sills, probably one of the newest drivers to join the team. Kyler Schuster joined uh, Track House back last season. Got six straight top 10s and well, I think two wins uh, for uh, Bad Dodge Team Inc. And then decided to move over to Track House. And we'll see how they do this season in the number nine, but... Uh, and then Brock Nelson or Brandon Nelson moved down from Cup, and then you had a uh, uh, returning driver Eric Monica who uh, almost got a win last year, but he's already got a win uh, this year last week. So good starts the season for the 48 so far. We'll see how they can do the rest of the season. But other than that, Trackhouse is being pulled by the 88. So that's all I gotta say on that. And it's top front group is just is battle of the wits. The gaps are growing, I think. I can go back to our standings up here. If we see any wrecks, I'll we'll probably find out pretty quick anyways. But, you know, five seconds to gap the top ten. Pox Coz are rounding up in the top ten. And just, yeah, just seeing these gaps starting to grow. 
sort of become, you know, who has better skill, who has better tires, who has better this, that, what the third, and all that. But it's all going to come down to that for sure. And it's an endurance race per se. Not like those 24 hours, of course, but if anything, like 30, 45 minutes, but... Uh, we'll see how they do. And I'll keep a little eye on that little bag, just in case we see them fall back catastrophically. Well, there's a yellow. But that is it, just in case. Let's see if I check the chat again, because I'm losing my mind. Is my out of my mind, or did the 30 go to pit road again? I think I'm out of my mind, because I didn't see him go to pit road. I thought I'd see my chat blinking. Yellow and white, little conflicting colors there, missing my eyes. Eh. But Brock Nelson so far, master class, been pulled away from the field for the most part all race long. No one's really had anything for him, to be honest. And, uh, really, other than that, master class, start pole, make it for the grand slam here. Only had one yellow, but that was lap one. Technically, lap three, because they didn't figure it out till then, but we'll excuse that, because corrupt racing legs, so that's nice. Uh, learn that. Coming to the 10 to go next time, by. And we still got, I believe, all 10 cars within 5 seconds at this point, so. Gaps growing in between certain cars and certain cars, and it's just, uh, no one's really showing up much of a fight for anybody here. It's just, the, the gaps are pretty good between a lot of these guys. How they space out. The 51 has a little bit of rear end damage from that 17, uh, bumping him and stuff. Uh, didn't go on that, uh, I believe that, uh, caution we had at last restart, uh, stalled, at, or, no, it might, yeah, he stalled, and then the 17 got in the back of him, and then on the initial start, uh, same happened, I believe, or actually, no, he got into him in a, on lap one, he got into the back of him on the entry of that last corner, because we are now 10 to go here at Old Spice. I believe the 0, 8, and the 30 will easily be able to stay on the lap unless something goofy happens. And uh, at this point, I don't expect a lot of position changes in the top 10. Uh, 0, 6 fell back a little bit. I'm not sure if that's concerning or not. Or they also have damage. They hit that wall pretty hard on lap 1. See, it kind of pancaked that uh, side of that. I guess you can't see it, but it pancake the side of the car into the wall aerodynamic disadvantage not to mention it's gonna hurt inside of the car it was a pretty hard hit and there's not quite up to pace at this point because of that so they're gonna have to ride it home and hope next week is better but Mark Nelson once again master class so far I don't really had much for him But uh, next race, Pocono. That's going to be interesting. But, uh, come to, uh, tend to go at this point, again, that 0-6 starting to lose a little bit more time in the back, but like I said, they're going to have to limp to the finish at this point. 
but I don't think they'll be caught by the 0.8 or the 30. Um, unless they start pitting now or something out of the blue, I think the 0.8 and the 30 may have just had a bad idea of thinking, oh yeah, let's pit now. Their best bet really would have been to pit under yellow, but didn't. And uh, unfortunately, that's going to cost them a good finish. Cactus King, you know, I thought oh, again he did finish well last week. Never mind. Angie hasn't had a really great start to the season. Neither is well. Cooper led a quite. A, he actually led the most laps at Daytona in the 30. But uh, yeah, there's a couple dodges back here. Just we're gonna look, running to finish this race pretty much. Clutching to the end, get her done. That's what a lot of these guys are doing. Again, that 51 has had no challengers at this point. The zero, 17's had some signs of catching up, but I'm be real. I don't think it's going to happen. And the gaps are building again. Uh, not a lot, like just a couple tenths every once in a while. Basically, is what the gaps are building at between drivers in the top 10. Right now, I don't think it's going to be challenged by much. Gap between the 3 and the 88, though, is pretty big. Uh, Jeremy Frey, though, uh, he, he won Phoenix last year around this time. Almost been a year without a win. Uh, hasn't shown much other than that. And Silas Wilmot uh, did really well in the Jazz 500 part-time entry. Uh, led quite a few laps, finished up front. Uh, they're already showing some wheel here in Smos. We'll be honest, though, they are holding up to 58 to 21. They do appear to be the weak link. I was telling you about how those track cross cars don't quite have it together this race. Uh, 88 appears to uh, kind of be the same situation on that department. But uh, they're holding bay right now against that 58 and 21. Hold on to that top 10. And they also have a good qualify as well. So I think track position is really important to this track as well. Uh, 21 is pulled away from David Don, who's 11th. And then Matthew Hill and Payson Avery from then on back. As uh, getting closing laps of this race, lap 27. And front, not really much going on. The gap's growing in the mid pack. Um, 17, eh, it's showing a little bit of, you know, catching up here and there, but at the end of the day, I don't think it's going to be too much. 83, still something there. 24 fan looking for top 10. Let's kind of go to our top 10 here on our standings board. I know we have our ticker, but let's go to our standings board just to see the top 10, see how they're running right now. But yeah, it's pretty on point. Uh, uh, that The 88 lost a second. Or no, not a second, but they lost quite a bit. Of, or maybe I'm... No, they lost a bit, quite a bit of time on that three car that last lap. They may have used up their stuff. Yeah, they're using, they're using quite a bit of time. The 58 ain't really challenging the 88 a lot at this point, but I still think they're holding them up. I think the 6 may be actually catching these guys because of it, of David Dawn, uh, per se pack, if you would. Um, that's behind him is a 21 trying to challenge the 58. That's going to allow this 88 to kind of get back going. Pox gets blocked. Not going to make it work. Linda Jones still trying to... Hold in for top 10 as well. All these guys got a good gap on David Don, who's in 11th. It's the next car back for that top 10. But uh, we'll see how that goes. Again, the 17, just about a hundredth of a second back, which yeah, I know is not saying much, but they're not really catching per se. We're coming to two to go. We're keeping within a second, but the gaps are just not going to be closed and be, be real with you. They've been keeping it the same distance, especially right here. Just can't quite catch him. 51 is just a little bit better. Not as much in the long run. I think 51 may have used it for stuff just a little bit, but that 17, I don't think he's got anything for him at this point. The uh, Byron Webb, or Bri Brian Webb. I'm gonna, I am not going to get that name right at all in my lifetime, it seems. But coming to the white flag here, the 51, Brock Nelson. Masterclass, going to try to do the Grand Slam here at Old Spice. Only had one yellow. Unfortunately, that took out Angie Johnson from contention. But he's still rolling. And uh, the cars in the back didn't have a great race. 
Nonetheless, though, we still driving. Just a few more corners left. The 51, Brock Nelson. Won at Martinsville last season. He's going to get another win here today. Uh, just a few corners away, anyway. 83 falling back a little bit in this last lap. So is the 17. Matthew Hill Racing. Just added Brock Nelson over the offseason. Going to a two car team. They come off at the final corner, and Brock Nelson going to be your old spice winner. And your top 10 is solidified. Well, that's old spice. I don't know what to tell you internet. Um, Mark Nelson with the Grand Slam. Uh, that's going to be an interesting point to take up, I'm sure. Not a lot of wrecks. Unfortunately, Angie Johnson, I am able to finish the race. Got involved in that lap one crash. Not wish they could have done there. And other than that, uh, that's all I got. Uh, Smoss, next race is Pocono. See you then.